Hello there, people of the internet. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are looking at r slash entitled parents. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for something. Mum's new boyfriend starts acting as if he was my father and at first made her back him through smart lies until he overplayed his hand big time with some satisfying karma at the end. Let me first give you some background so you get here people so you get where people are coming from. My father had left a few years prior. My mother had bought a small house from the money from the divorce and a few months before had got a boyfriend. At first I was truly happy she had moved on, but soon I realized she had fallen for some real POS. Now you need to understand, my father was an alcoholic and a narcissist, so my mum's normal meter was truly broken. Anybody treating her half decent must have appeared like Prince Charming to her. So please don't judge her too harshly for her choice. I don't. Now, he was not only halfway decent, he treated her really well, though he was an a-hole to me. He bought her flowers, went out with her regularly, etc. But what I realised and she did not, was that he was a parasite. He had maybe a hundred bucks to his name, and his only income was support from the state. Now, I already hear you ask, how did he afford flowers and going out? By living rent-free and having all his costs paid for till he gets back on his feet. One last thing, as the headline already told you, he soon started to show an immense entitlement towards me. Basically, he said this is his house, so now I have to follow his rules. Of course, I told him this is my mum's house, not his, and I do not have to do anything unless my mother tells me to. He took that really badly, since he has an ego problem, as you probably already guessed. I tried to tell my mum, but she wouldn't believe me, since he'd always acted very nice to me when she was around. But as soon as she was gone, the Cold War started. He pulled a lot of the small garbage, like demanding in a patronising voice, I'd bring him some beer while he was watching TV with me, while mum was on the toilet. When she came back, he told her he'd asked me nicely to bring him a beer when I stood up to get something, but I refused, insulted him, and sat back down. So of course she told me to apologise and get him a beer. I tried to explain, but she wouldn't let me, so he kept pulling petty BS to establish dominance. After this whole story, I asked my mum why she would always believe him and not let me explain. Apparently he had told her I was super jealous he was in the house, and wanted to get rid of him by trying to make him look bad, so she backed him to show me he's not going anywhere. Time for the main act. I had gone out the night from Friday to Saturday, and had come back at 3am. My mum was gone over the weekend, and he exploded. How dare I disrespect him like that, coming home this late. I told him calmly, he does not get to declare a curfew for me, and my mum allows me to come home any time this late. Which is true, provided I stayed at the house of three specific people I am friends with, and whose parents are my mum's friends. He flipped out even more and called me a dirty liar. He then gave me the classic, as long as you put my legs under his table, and me being a smart ass, of course, answered, this is my mum's and my house. You are a guest here. He screamed at me. He's going to kick me out of the house, and I won't be allowed back till my mum returns. I screamed that he can't do this since it's not his house. I threatened to call my mum. He, emboldened by her backing up, told me to do that but I'd better not lie to her and tell her what is actually happening. I put her on speaker and told her, he's trying to kick me out of the house till you come back Monday. It was Saturday then. She didn't believe me and told me to put him on the line. So he started telling her I disrespected him as the man of the house by coming home so late and lying to him about this being okay when I stay at my friend's house, and that I needed to learn to respect him. So it is up to him how he disciplines me when she is not there. Then he lied and said he told me to be home by 1am. For the first time, he let his mask slip, and she picked up right away. So, let me get this straight. I allow my son to be out till 3, but you think you can overrule my decision on my son, and now you think you can kick my son out of his house? He realised by this point that he'd screwed up. He tried to get her back on his side, but it only dug his hole deeper. Well, he keeps not respecting me in my own house. If you let him win, he'll never respect me. And you think you write a punishment for disrespect is to kick him out for two days? Yes, finally, you get it. I knew you were... Well, he did nothing wrong since he was allowed to go out that long. You have no right just to overrule my decisions on my son. But I am not done. 
Apparently, you think the right punishment for your disrespect is to kick you out till Monday. But I only have a hundred bucks. That's not fair. Where am I supposed to go? I am sure my son had even less money, and you did not care. You have 30 minutes to leave. I tell the neighbour to check. If you're still here in half an hour, he's calling the police, and you will be committed for trespassing. When I come home on Monday, we are having a talk. I'm such an idiot that I kept believing you over my son. Once my mum came home, I told her how he kept pulling this BS on me, and she was so sorry she kept backing him up. I tried to tell her many times he treated me exactly like my father did when she wasn't around, one major reason for their divorce, but since he treated her so differently and acted so different than my father, she believed that I was just jealous and trying to get rid of him. But when she heard him say these words, my father said so many times, you owe me respect since you live in my house. She suddenly realized I was telling the truth, all along, while he was the liar. That's why she got so furious so fast. She never realized how badly he treated me and how entitled he acted, since he'd hidden it so well from her. But when he started to talk about deserving respect in his own house, something my father kept saying, from me, a house he did not even own. Even worse, thinking he could overrule her decisions for her own son. My father kept overruling her decisions, so she finally saw through him and got all the evidence she needed to know that I was telling the truth all along. They broke up that Monday. He never even got back into the house. They met for a coffee, and she demanded her keys back. Originally, she wanted to give him a month, but when she entered the bar they met at, he right away started to scream at her how dare she kick him out from a house like this, and that now he would never get the respect from me he was entitled to. So, she told him she's only there to ask for keys back, and that they're through. Well, I think that was a very interesting story. I like... it's... it's like an entitled... It's not, no, it's like an entitled boyfriend turned into an entitled stepdad, sort of. I mean, they weren't married, but it's the same sort of idea. So, yeah, wow, no, that's actually, that's, that's just a bad situation. Um, like, having, just, having someone abusive just trying to overrule you, and all the, and all the other people in your life just believe them over you and they're being abusive towards you. It's just not a good situation, honestly, like. What can you do about it? I mean, they, they did very well in that situation, but it's just a real shame to know that people do actually have to deal with stuff like that. So, if anyone's dealing like... So, to anyone who's dealing with anything like that, I hope you do all right. I don't know. I offer my condolences to anyone who has abusive... Anyone abusive in their lives. I offer my condolences, and there's not much more I can do. I'm sorry. Moving on. On the salad. Entitled mother tries to get me to give my Easter basket to her kids. I live in an apartment complex with my boyfriend. I work overnight, so usually I'm asleep most during the day. Yesterday my boyfriend went out and bought stuff to make an Easter basket for me. Something we did for each other last year, but hadn't really talked about because of the pandemic. He set the basket up and left it in the passenger seat of my car to find when I went out for work. This morning I got home at around 7.30. As I was walking through the parking lot, a couple of the neighbour kids were playing outside. I'm pretty sure they're brothers, as I always see them together. And I passed them to go upstairs while carrying my basket. The basket itself was a pink wicker basket. It had a small pink stuffed bunny, a giant lollipop set, a chocolate bunny, and several coloured eggs. I had just taken a melatonin and put my sleep mask on to try to go to bed when I hear a knock at my door. My boyfriend is fast asleep, so I figured I might as well look through the peephole to see if it was an Amazon delivery or something. I peeked through and see my neighbour from over the stairs, so I opened it up. The two boys from earlier were by the door, watching our conversation. My boys said you had an Easter basket. Uh, yeah. Okay, so give it to them. I'm sorry. Give them the Easter basket. You're an adult. Why do you even have one? I'm not going to give your boys my Easter basket. Well, why not? Do you hate Jesus or something? I stood there for a second, with a confused look on my face, before she snapped. Give them the basket already! Look, I've lived here for almost a year. I see your kids all the time, and I've never really interacted with them, but they seem like fine kids. Even if that is true, though, I don't have to give them anything, especially not something that was given to me as a gift. If they want Easter baskets, and you want them to have Easter baskets, why don't you buy the supplies and make them yourselves? Why should I have to do that? When there's one made up here. 
Um, because it isn't yours. Well, I'm sure it'll get much better use if my boys have it rather than you. Hand it over or I'm going to call the police and tell them some girl from apartment number stole their basket. You might think it'll get more usage from your boys than it will from me, but it's all sweets that I'm going to eat to keep me awake during my 12-hour shift tonight, the one I need to go to sleep before if you would leave me be. Also, I even still have the basket I got from him last year, and I'll let you in on a secret. It holds all my adult toys. Happy Easter! After that, I closed the door in her face. I could hear her through the door give off one of those partial groan, partial screams, and she actually called the police on speaker right outside my door. So I called the non-emergency line and said if a woman called about someone from my address stealing her kid's Easter basket, that she was delusional and told them what happened. Police still haven't shown up, and now it's time for a snooze. Happy Easter, all! Entitled family verbally abused my nine-year-old daughter, calling her fat and worthless. I lose it. Okay, so for some background. I'm a father of a nine-year-old girl who is my whole world. Her mother and I split up three months after her birth when I found out she'd been cheating. Naturally, I got a DNA test, and thankfully, she was mine. Problem is, her mother doesn't care about her health. She feeds her whatever she wants and even gives her coffee and donuts for breakfast sometimes. It's a mess. I've called child protection and the police in the past for wellness checks, but it's got me nowhere. So, since she was about four, she's had a weight issue. Now, onto the story that happened about an hour ago. Okay, so for some background. I'm a father of a nine-year-old girl who is my whole world. Her mother and I split up three months after her birth when I found out she'd been cheating. Naturally, I got a DNA test, and thankfully, she was mine. Problem is, her mother doesn't care about her health. She feeds her whatever she wants and even gives her coffee and donuts for breakfast sometimes. It's a mess. I've called child protection and the police in the past for wellness checks, but it's got me nowhere. So, since she was about four, she's had a weight issue. Now, onto the story that happened about an hour ago. The cast is Entitled Kid 1, Entitled Kid 2, Entitled Mother, Entitled Father, My Little Girl, and Me. So, my daughter is aware she's overweight. She's teased constantly at school, so I've made it a habit to visit her at least three times a week, each week for lunch, and she always asks me to come so she can eat lunch in peace from the bullies. This weekend was her weekend with me, and she's taken a liking to basketball which I think is great, and she asked me this morning to go down to the park down the road in our community to shoot some baskets with her. Of course I say yes, and we go. When we get there, I park and immediately notice two kids, EK1 and 2, sitting at one of those park tables, cussing and throwing a basketball back and forth at each other. I pay them no mind, and we walk up to the court that isn't being used. I also notice two adults, about mid-thirties, sitting on a park bench about 30 feet away, smoking and messing around on their phones. We start shooting, and she's having fun when I hear, Hey, get the hell off my court, fat ass. We were about to use it, and you're too fat to play anyway. Look, you can't even make a shot. My daughter is nine, and still learning, mind you. Yeah, maybe go home and use a treadmill. Ah, ha, ha, ah. Now, he said this with me right in front of them, and I am pissed. I'm a big guy, about 6 foot 1, 190 pounds, and unlike others, I don't like confrontation, but I'm not scared to engage as necessary. Okay, first off, both you kids watch your darn language, and do not insult my daughter again. You really think that's okay? Insulting someone on something so sensitive and thinking it's a laughing matter? Your parents are doing something wrong. That's when the parents, who are still at the bench, hear me and join in on the fun. What the hell do you think you're doing? Why are you yelling at my sweet boys? You better watch what you say, dude. Your precious boys are standing here insulting my daughter and calling her fat. You two really think that's okay? To insult a child younger than them over something she's already bullied about at school. We're here trying to get some exercise in and play some basketball and just have fun. I don't need to deal with you and your little punk-ass boys insulting her. Entitled mother looks at me without blinking, like what I just said was the specials at a restaurant. So what? what's wrong with what they said? Look at her, she's fat, isn't she? They're being honest. She shouldn't be here. What the 
frick? Yeah, they're doing her a favour. She's just embarrassing herself. I mean, look at her. They all start laughing. Literally two teens and two adults laughing at my little girl while she's standing behind me and trying so hard not to cry. I lost my crap. All right, listen, you two, pointing at the parents, are effing trash. So they're being honest, and that's okay. All right, fine. Here's some honesty. Your sons are bullies, and I promise you, eventually another kid will stand up for themselves and knock their teeth out. I, as a normal adult, effing despise bullying. You're both terrible parents, thinking what your kids are doing is acceptable. Watch what you say to my wife and sons. Your daughter is fat. Deal with it. Yeah, and you're a mean man, and you shouldn't say things to these people. She's crying, and I'm pissed off and even more upset about this. Watch what I say, or what, bud? What are you going to do? You and your perfect little family seem to think honesty is all right, no matter what form. So I'm telling you, you're all bullies. And unlike my daughter, I'm an adult, and I won't put up with any more of your BS. Especially if any of you say another word to my daughter, I swear you will regret it. I was maybe three inches from the father's face when I said this. Looking back, maybe I shouldn't have said you'll regret it, but I was pissed and in protection mode. The entitled dad just stares at me without moving for about 10 seconds with me not moving. We're not leaving. My daughter just wanted a fun day at the park and I won't tolerate another negative word said against her. Test me if you want. The entitled parents look at each other before finally entitled mum scoffs. EK1 and 2, let's go. We're going home. They begin walking away down the street towards the house. I'm watching them, mostly because of the way I had a feeling they'd say something else, and I was right, sadly. When they're about a hundred or so feet down the street, Dad yells, Have fun with your fat daughter, punk! And they hurry their walk. I start running after them as I was done and not putting up with this anymore when I hear my daughter in a calm voice. Daddy, just leave them, leave. Now we can play alone. She's smiling now, and I can tell she's right. She just wants to have this all be over with. All right, sweetie. Want to play horse? Yeah, you go first. And thanks for sticking up to me, Daddy. I'm so sick of bullies. Always, hon. I know. Don't worry. Let's just have some fun. I'll always be there to help you when I can. I'll give her a hug. We had a good time for the next hour, shooting hoops, and then went home. Thanks for reading, guys, and don't put up with bullying. Edit. Thanks to guys who gave me the awards and everyone else for their kind words and support. If you're someone who's dealing with bullying, you're not alone, and don't forget that. Be the bigger person, and you know that if you're bullying you, you're in control. They're trying to elicit a reaction from you, and it's up to you to give them that satisfaction. I'd help you all if I could. Genuinely. Also, to all of you saying fake, there are always some on this posts. I wish it was, but it wasn't, unfortunately. So... Yeah, that's, that's really bad. Like, how old did they say? Was it, like, nine? Was was his daughter nine? Whatever. Uh, but, no, nah, that's really uncool for, like, the parents. Even. The parents especially. Like, that's just... That's awful. I mean, I could understand if, like, the kids were being awful to them. But, like, to her... Sorry, to his daughter. And, like... I mean, yeah, that's common. I mean, it's still not good, but it's more common. But the parents to gang up with them, that that's just, that's honestly terrible. Like, they're just bad people. That's like, that's like insane parents level stuff. That That's crazy, to be honest. Well, moving on to the last story now. Racist entitled aunt demands my Muslim girlfriend to leave our Christmas party because she isn't family and believes in the wrong God. Hey folks, first of all, English isn't my native language, so expect some grammar mistakes. A little backstory. My dad is Muslim, and he really wanted to see one of his children marry a Muslim. Then, I met a really sweet Muslim girl at school, and you could clearly see she's Muslim, as she has Arabic roots, which is important to the story. But my aunt, my mother's sister, was really religious with Christianity, and hates all other religions. That's all you need to know to follow the story. Me and my family arrived at the Christmas party and searched for our grandma who organised the party. We go to sit down next to some of my siblings and cousins. It was really nice until the entitled aunt arrives at the party with a nice boyfriend and their kid, who's not entitled and doesn't affect the story. 
This was the first time my girlfriend was at a family gathering, so my aunt sees her for the first time. And then the following conversation occurred. Who are you? I've never seen you here. I'm OP's girlfriend. You aren't from around here, are you? Um, my parents are Arabian? She turns to me and whispers, Why are you dating someone like that? Um, because I like her, and she's really sweet. Can you go home already? I already have to deal with one Muslim, referring to my dad, and I can't deal with a second one. Um, why should I go, and what's wrong with being Muslim? You should just go. You guys believe in the wrong God, and don't even celebrate Christmas. Entitled aunt, stop it. If she wants to be here, she gets to be here. But she isn't even family. Yes, that's true. But you and nice boyfriend aren't married, so why does he get to be here? Uh, we're both Christians, so we are family via our religion. Oh, okay, then. We're done talking because my dad and my girlfriend are family via religion. GF, just go. We don't want someone to blow up the house. She actually effing said this. My dad, who'd heard everything and is pissed as frick, Entitled aunt, that's enough. If you are going to be that racist again, I will personally take care that you will never be at a gathering again. Oh, so you're threatening me? Pfft, I could have known. That's all the only thing your race is able to do. My dad's about to jump on Entitled Aunt, but is stopped by me and the nice boyfriend. N nice boyfriend, maybe it's better if you and Entitled Aunt go back home. Yeah, I think that's best for us all. This happened last Christmas, and my girlfriend is still not fully over it. She doesn't feel comfortable anymore at gatherings, but my grandma said if she wanted to come, she wouldn't invite Entitled Aunt. That's all. Thanks for reading, and hope you have a nice day, and stay healthy. That was a good story. I liked it. It was... I didn't like it. You don't... Yeah, I like the... Well, no, I like the plot, and I like the way that it was formatted. And, honestly, there's just so many terrible people in the world. That's what I'm really getting at. I don't... Ah, uh, it pisses me off that there are people like this in the world. But, quoting their last line in their poem, that's all. Thanks for listening. And hope you have a nice day and stay healthy. Remember to like, subscribe, share, comment. Turn on the bell. Have a good rest of your day. Subscribe.